my name's Amelia and I'm one of the voices of the playable character in Hogwarts Legacy, which I am about to play for the very first time. Yeah. I think I'm <laughs> I think I'm gonna be evil. I should have dressed witchy. God. Things you'd learn in hindsight. <laughs> Oh my god, this is so cool! And now anytime I see anything small, I'm like, oh, it's a little chip of baby Niflo. Oh, hi guys, don't mind me on my Nimbus 3000. Well, I guess this is 1800s, my Nimbus 2. Can I kill those chickens? No, I'm not going to be evil right now. Oh, look, it's little baby Niflo. Oh my god! <laughs> what have I done to the poor guy? No, it's poetry, it's not a poor guy. Oh my god. Did I just like incinerate that man? I want to throw that barrel at him. Oh my god, that is so fun. And the student becomes the master. Um, what topic could I give a 20 minute presentation on? I'm going to say two things. Number one, burritos in general. Um, I like a burrito. I like a chicken burrito specifically. I think Chipotle is probably my favorite burrito making place. Um, and I could just, I could talk about burritos for, for ages. Oh, yeah. No, Deke likes that. Thank you. What can Deke do for you? No, thank you very much. Hi, I'm Nicholas Guy Smith, and I'm here today to talk to you about Two Old Men and a Baby by Hendrik Gruen. The story is set in Holland, and it centers on the search for a missing baby who's been inadvertently kidnapped by two old men. It's a comedy and it's a wonderful comedy. This week, uh, Tom Cruise did a video where he jumped off a helicopter and wished everybody happy holidays. And I just thought that was really, really cool, you know? So I thought, what can I do that is sort of in keeping with my own sort of cinematic? So I thought, what I'd do is I'd just pop across the road and buy a Cornetto and, um, and have a think about it, you know? Well, this came about because I was living in Los Angeles um, with my husband and we got friendly with a very um, clever songwriter called Mark Muller. I see. Well, the castle itself, as I'm sure you have surmised, is full of surprises. You know the ancient Nord word for war? Season unending. And so it has proved. The voice is all important, of course, in media like this. I've been 60 years in the theater and film, and uh, this is the first video game I've done. Be gone! Before even my philosophy has tested me on the breaking point. We are men of peace, and you are not. The process is, is fast. about Harry the Ninth. Um, Harry the Ninth is the sequel to Gideon the Ninth and Gideon the Ninth was described as... With Ranrock it was more, well, he's, you know, he's supposed to be somewhat intimidating. He is tougher, he is rougher, he is, you know, had to sort of claw and fight his way up. And so he's physically small, but he shouldn't sound like he is small or retiring or... Don't change. Don't change yourself for somebody else because I guarantee you can spend years trying to please everyone else, and especially on the internet. You can spend all of that time becoming somebody that you're not to just fit in this box. Happy July 4th to all my American friends. Huh? I know a lot of you will be barbecuing today outside in the garden in the sun, Hannah. Of course, of course. You know, I mean, Zach's really funny. Even Brian's really fun. I don't know. There's so much, especially living here, you know? Yeah, I know. Like, Jantaniqua, you do look awful, darling. I think I'm connected to some blueprint thing and Steve. They also think I killed this FBI agent who was interviewing me. Kansas, you're the one who introduced me to Steve. Please tell me what you know about Steve. As the voice of the sorting hat, I can't wait to see you all in Hogwarts Legacy later this month. But the big question is, hmm, but where to put you? Can you do the Grinch? All right, how's this? Oh, TikTok, when should I post? Let's see. Four o'clock, wallow with self-pity. Four-thirty, stare into the abyss. Five o'clock, solve world hunger. Tell no one. 
Five thirty, jazzercise. Six thirty, dinner with me. Camera woman was barely able to escape with her life, and luckily there were no deaths today, despite what city officials estimate are millions of dollars in damage. But other men. You should wait until you're really comfortable and with you with someone that you can actually trust. I think it's better to do it with a boyfriend or girlfriend first time. Mm -hmm. I would wait till then if there are any virgins out here. Um, also, if you are a guy or girl out there and you are, you are a virgin, honestly, I know I just kind of touched on it, but focus on other things like smelling better, brushing your teeth better, like looking better, yeah, you've work, got... getting going to the gym. Excuse me, do you have I think I wouldn't believe it at first, <laughs> but it would be too late. They would have already gotten me before I realised they were real. I'd be like, oh, they are real because they got my leg like that's all i think if anyone can keep them out of poacher hands it's the centaurs and i wanted to thank you when the poachers ambushed us i it was nice not to face them alone oh god i'm a i'm a, I'm a great uncle um i don't know if you can tell um i have a very energetic uh here let's play legos vibe about me um but i recently ruined uh my nephew's uh birthday party because I'm an adult and I use logic and he's seven and... It's quite nice to have people saying that, oh, you were great in this game, you were amazing. It's slightly annoying that it's an 18 and I'm only 12 and I'm not able to play it yet. I really want to play it in the future though. Ah, based on all the chatter when you entered the common room, I'm guessing you're the new fifth year. I'm Ominous. Ominous Gaunt. Probably been, I want to say without, you know, sounding so cliche and everything, it's probably been one of the most enjoyable jobs mm. that I've ever had. Like, I mean, I've worked on some amazing things, but this one was so different. Impressive work today, but don't get too comfortable. I'll be on your heels in no time. My family's not going to believe the news when I tell them. They're almost as competitive as I am. Hi guys, I'm Jennifer Veal and you're watching Family Island. <laughs> I'm joking, I was so passive, I wasn't <laughs> yeah, so I was first encouraged to start acting when I was at primary school. Um, I, was, I was actually interested in music to start with, to be honest. Um, I went to Victoria College Prep. My mum started to watch the first season. And they were keep like, I got it. Well, yeah. keep in mind they've done eight. So she didn't quite get the memo that I was in the, new, the newest one. Oh. So she started watching, just on her own, two full seasons of, you know, a cartoon <laughs> that <laughs> I was not involved in. This is great. I'm glad he announced that I'm from England because uh, the last show uh, didn't turn out so well because they didn't tell the guy I was British and it was a hip-hop club. <laughs> <laughs> the host gets up on stage and he's like, Coming to the stage right now! Coming to the stage right now! Saints Row 4, I was uh, the alien overlord Zinyak who talks like that. And it's terribly sort of condescending to humans. Hello, humans. Uh, I did uh, Bane in Arkham Origins, who was like that. Um, I played Commander Blisk in Titanfall, who's a South African commander who talks in your ear the whole game and annoys the ass off you. And um, I was flying around the world on location filming and um, had a great career, so life was pretty wonderful. Um, I migrated from a world of presumed innocence, uh, earned privilege and respected privacy to one of assumed guilt. Oh, hello. Whew. Sorry I'm in a bit of a tizzy. I was just scolding some of the plants for spitting and nipping. This whole thing is about, very much about Zari and her like learning uh, her place within the team and Gideon's basically kind of manifested herself to help her figure out where she fits in with the team and the reason as to, you know, why the lessons are there that Gideon teaches her in this without giving too much away, yeah. Once upon a time, there were two girls who went to the same school and their names were Amy and Alice. They weren't best friends or anything, but they'd always got on okay, didn't they? Oh, thank you, thank you. Penny never thought she would be given clothing and become a free elf. Did you know that when we record characters for video games, there's part of the recording session that's set aside? Can you just do me this one little thing? Just this one little favor. I just want you to listen. I just want you to listen and not compare whatever I say to something that's going on in your life. 